that and then find the Oh, that's not natural. Well, since the elf is in there, then I can actually get her. Maybe we'll do the nails first. So, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Microfoot is very focused. Very focused. Hi. He's so cute. I wish your little nose was not so congested. Oh, so many curves. So many kind of curves. <laughs> Sorry, I can't adjust the sound from in here. Yes, try headphones. Headphones always make it much louder. Sorry, little Alfred. There was upstairs cat section being rowdy. Ooh. Get ready. We're going to do this just a little bit at a time. Ooh. Good girl. Good girl. Um, the good thing about these toys is that they can be disinfected. Um, I wouldn't put it in here if, like, when they first arrived, but at this point, um, there, the amount of contamination is much lower than uh, it was when they first came. So, that's why it's here. Because it's all, everything's enclosed, so it's easy enough to disinfect. Mary's doing great. She just got her last dose of pain meds. She's feeling really good, looking good, and uh, should be going home on Tuesday, hopefully, which is very exciting. She has a wonderful, wonderful home. It's perfect for her. She will be the only cat, uh, at least for now. And um, it's just going to be awesome. So that's exciting. Elfie, we're doing some snuggles now. We're doing snuggles. She said you took yucky meds. Oh, no. 
Um, I think that she was going to try to do a big flip page. I'm trying to remember who, because all three of the applications were um, were not like experienced Facebook, and then one said she would prefer not to do one. So, um, but they all have at least agreed to send pictures. So that's good. And they're, they're wonderful homes that will be very, ooh. Yeah. So yeah, the important thing is that, that they're exceptional homes and that we will get updates from time to time. Um, and, and I think we will get a Facebook page for some of them. So, I'm certainly not going to turn down a really great home for an adult cat, especially because they're not always the easiest to place over Facebook. Um, so that's awesome. And I'm, I haven't been able to get a hold of Joy and Holly Bell's person. Um, I will try calling tomorrow. So if you applied for Joy and Holly Bell and haven't heard back from me, um, send an email to me out at tinykittens.com. strange black fur. You're so handsome. Good job with your meds. You're so cute. So, um, in case you missed the news yesterday, Jingle and Nicholas came back negative on their ringworm PCRs. So, uh, we have samples in, uh, we took samples of Elf and Noel in, was it yesterday? It was Wednesday. Um, oh, I turned it off. Oh, no. So, uh, there, so we could get results back tomorrow. If they're all negative, that would be amazing. I'm not convinced that we're going to get all four negatives, but it would be amazing if we did. Um, then we will, I think that I will probably move them. I hope we don't have any space upstairs. No. Unless Mary would set free to roam the house. Let me get that. Um, I'll figure that out. So we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get the results back and then we can start working on spays and neuters. Um, yes, their tails were shaved to try to remove as much of the infected uh, hairs, as many of the infected hairs as we could. Um, and that, that has to be what set up the 
process for, well, it may, maybe not, but um, it seems likely that there would have still been at least some boards in there for, because they did have, they do still have the slightest bit of, they have a few little glowing, hi Noel, micro ball pieces. You're so cute. You're so cute. Every time I come visit, Jingle has to poop. Um, so yeah, so we we shaved for to try to get rid of as much of the infected material as we could, and um, so it will grow back. They just look extra special right now. Um, No, we have not x-rayed elf. We're not doing anything until we get some negatives on the ringworm results because it's, um, bringing in uh, ringworm caps requires a lot of extra cleaning and stuff and, uh, at the clinic, and so we try not to do that to them unless it's an emergency, like mistletoe and comet. Comet got neutered when he was positive. Um, it's a little bit easier with neuter because they don't have they don't go in the sterile surgery room. But you were cute. So. So cute. Aren't you so cute with your big belly? Your belly's not as pink. It was so pink before. Because there was no fluff on it. So you're too cute. Why are you so cute? And then she's getting some fluff back on her belly. I didn't shave her belly because it was already bald. She just was covered in the worm. Covered in it. You're so cute. Yeah, so Elfie's belly, um, we will definitely check that out again when she goes in for her spay. Um, and then also there are a few tests that I would like to run just to rule things out. But um, the most likely explanation is parasites. Um, but there certainly could be other things. Other things at play. Speaking of, should we give you some drugs? Microfloof has doubled, tripled, has tripled her weight since she arrived. Triple floof, which is very impressive work. So hopefully, if, if we do get negatives back on these two, then I will uh, be able to stop this round of meds, which would be really nice. It would be so nice. Jingle, we know, has had ringworm since at least the beginning of August. Hi, handsome. Good job. Good job. He says, I hate meds. Hate them. That was good. Almost done. One more. Uh oh. Swallow. That's a swallow. Oh, Elsie, you're so beautiful. Good job. Good job. Now everyone's mad at me. 
God forgive me with mouse, the mouse track. Let's see. Um, yeah, so if we get negatives back, then uh, I'll stop the oral meds. But at this stage, as long as they continue to come back positive or uh, Well, yeah, as long as they continue to come back positive, then we, we will be pulsing the meds on a week off of, off a week because it um, elf elf is not pregnant. Um, we Dr. Ferguson and I have both thoroughly felt in there and not felt anything. And because she's been bloated the whole time she's been here, um, it's unlikely it, if if. By the time a cat is visibly pregnant, you should be able to feel something. So had she been visibly pregnant by the time she came here, which she looked bloated even then, um, she would be giving birth any, any day now. And um, her belly hasn't grown. It's just remained gigantic. So I'm pretty convinced that she's not pregnant. I mean, there's always like a 1% chance, but um, it's much more likely that it's parasites and uh, related inflammation from parasites and viruses and bacteria and all the fun funky stuff. So we will just have to wait and see. It would be neat to see these guys next to Mary because she's so tall and they are so short. Although I think their big bellies help make them look shorter than they are. Oh my god, you would be just as beautiful with short hair. I think with her her being shaved, it's hard to see to appreciate how how much she's grown since she got here. Uh, Cassidy is doing okay today. Um, I have been stretching him all day, trying to. Um, it's hard because he doesn't, he squirms and he doesn't want to, and so it's a lot of like trying to convince him that he wants to be stretched and then. I can put the splints on for a little while, but now, because I have to tape him on, now he's getting like bald spots from the tape, because the tape, no matter how, what kind of tape you use, it's going to pull hair out. It's just, you know, you fix one problem and then you create another problem. But um, he is seeming much, uh, to bend much more easily on his right side. His left side hasn't made a lot of progress. Um, and it's, uh, I can't, I can't, haven't really figured out a way to do both splints at the same time and have them be at any sort of beneficial angle, um, cause he has more, he does more tantrums when, um, he's got both on and then they tend to get twisted and he pulls out of them. And so, um, it's literally every waking hour I'm trying to do something to him, so he's getting a little break right now, but as soon as I get back, I'm going to try to get him back into a splint or something while I try to make dinner, um, but it's, it's, it's probably hard to appreciate how many hours, how many hours are required. But I have to, I feel like but before our trip out there, I, I need to show, be able to show steady progress. And so this is the only way to do it is to really push. Um, which is, it's hard on all of, it's hard on both of us. But it won't be forever. We have good days and bad days.
if it was an okay day today, I just I am not able to measure him, so I don't really know. What, sometimes sometimes I can measure him, but he has to hold really still and like you have to line it up just perfectly. And so because of how hard you have to hold the leg in order to keep it bent, it's hard to also maneuver the the tool on top to get a good measurement. So you know maybe I'll get it tonight. Maybe I won't. Probably not. But it's worth it, so you just keep pushing, keep on pushing. Thanks for the support. <laughs> You're so handsome. And these guys are doing really great, so that's wonderful. And I'm super excited about that we have Hopefully, great homes lined up for definitely for Mary. That's confirmed. Um, I think mistletoe and comet. Um, I'm. Uh, I have uh, sent the email to confirm everything, and I have prayed her back on that one. And then Joy and Holly Bell. I have not been able to get get in touch with them. So uh, hopefully, we can resolve that situation because we only got we only got one. Um, really good application for each pair or Mary so um, hopefully they will all work out and they're really they're really great homes so that's very exciting Comet and um, mistletoe will be here till February though um, just because they have some travel plans and so they will be here at least another month. for comment in this episode. Just I've only gotten really one for each. Um, uh, not a nope, they're all pretty oh they're all one one is in Washington and the rest are uh, local. Oh Jingle's got some really significant time of action going right now. Vic, show everybody what you're doing. Oh, did you put it away? Did you put it away? That's good tongue action. So, um, I don't know. So I haven't. That's why I haven't really announced anything because I haven't really. I don't have like. I finally got got in touch with um, Mary's adopter today. So that's confirmed, um, but the other two um, still sort of waiting for final confirmation. So, um, so that's good though. I think we were all a little bit worried that um, it would be hard to find homes for the five older cats. And by four of them being newly formerly feral, they kind of have special needs. So, uh, yes. So then if we get negative results for these guys, um, what day is it? So if we got them over the weekend, then we have to wait two more weeks from the day the sample was taken. So two weeks from yesterday, we'll resubmit another sample. And then if that comes back negative, then these guys will be cleared to go to their home. Um, after their spade and neuter. So, I should probably, well, once we get the results back, then I will know whether I can schedule spades and neuters or whether I need to wait. Um, so <laughs> if they do come back positive, then uh, we'll do another round of tests in maybe three days, early next week. Because um, if these two 
issues have cleared, then the others are probably not too far behind, which is good. from us. Casserole was definitely, he gave Topper the platypus. And Topper was just like, what? Topper was totally cool with it. But he was also on his happy meds, so. But Topper is much bigger than Cassidy. We hunt upside down like this and we wait for the mouse to come by. This is my favorite tail cut right here. 
even though I had to shave down the side of it so it's not quite as impressive as it was. Yours isn't so bad. You left out. You left out. So cute. So let's see, are there any other data seats? scooting the blankets and beds across the room in all of their scampy slender <laughs> OK, 
Can you guys hear that? It's like a herd of elephants upstairs. Nicholas doesn't know what, what he wants to pounce on. But he knows he wants to pounce on something. Oh, that was very underwhelming. I'm very underwhelmed with that pounce. Very underwhelmed. I think our, our itinerary in North Carolina is pretty solid, it's pretty booked. We're not staying very long, but thank you. <laughs> Your sound should be okay if you have headphones. There are settings you can change on your computer to make it sound better. I don't know what they are, um, but probably someone in chat knows. Yeah, if you have external speakers, headphones work much better. I can, I can turn it up when I leave, but I can't turn it up from in here. Sound gate 2016. At least, at least you're not hearing a clock ticking. Microfoof looks adorable with her haircut. She's like a monk. She's a monk cut. <laughs> oh, a big pile of floof. Microfloofers. <laughs> she is bald on top. She would have gone, she would have been bald anyway soon enough. And now she's less patchy. She's very beautiful and she's much more aerodynamic now. She is like Cindy Lauper. If Cindy Lauper was a monk, that's what her haircut would be. <laughs> and you can see her little, her little uh, spots underneath too. Very cute. Elfie got a little bit of a tail shave, but that's all she needed. Because uh, I only shaved the areas where there was still um, fluorescence. So all of their tails were still fluorescing and microfloof had it still all over, all over her back. But her belly had already gone completely bald and it started to grow back in, which is a good sign. Mm. So, anywho. <laughs> yep, so they'll get to go home sooner. If we can clear the ringworm sooner, which is good. So we'll find out in a day or two about the oh pardon, about the microfloof and elf results, and then we will go from there.
見てみようかな Mary's adopter is a long-time Tiny Kittens watcher. She has sent lots of things to us. So it's a perfect match. I think it's good that uh, Mary will be going to a home where she's the only cat for a while, she can get settled in. It's different when they're adults than when they're babies. Um, although, except for with the ferals. The ferals are used to living communally and it's comforting for them to have a companion. But Mary's been on the streets by herself and she does really well by herself. I think having a dedicated human is gonna be really awesome for her. And I don't, uh, and I don't think she'll miss not having a cat around. I don't know if she's had a, another cat around. So very perfect. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Jackie. She was thinking about pouncing on. Let's go check out the. Ooh. Nicholas is my favorite at litter box time. This is how he buries his poop on the wall. You see him? It's very effective. It's very effective. What is it? There's something wrong with Jingles' mouth? I don't think so. I don't think so. He does have the uh, tongue out thing that all of the other, that many of the ferals have. Casserole doesn't have it. Casserole keeps his tongue right where it belongs. But actually, you're, you're the most tongue outy one of this group. He is just finishing up his teething, so uh, uh oh, what's that? Did you just spill your yeah, little thing on? Here, don't here, don't step in it. I got it, I got it. Yeah, okay, good job, good job, thank you. Mm. You're so cute. Oh, so cute. <sighs> yes, I definitely scrubbed the walls on whenever the last bathing day was. I bleached all the walls and everything up there. We will have to very thoroughly clean this room several times. And we'll have to put, we need to put something under that molding. There's a big, like, crack, and there's a bunch of stuff that goes under there that we can't get out. <sighs> but I think at this stage, um, 
probably our contamination levels are low, so hopefully we can keep, uh, maybe we can keep the scratcher for another couple of days and stuff. I don't think, I don't, I think we're going to skip back tomorrow until, until we get test results back, because if we get the more negative, then we don't have to do more baths. We'll still clean the room and we probably will relocate them somewhere if we can, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it would be nice to move them out of here so that just in case there is something lurking in the well, I'm sure there is something lurking in the cracks, although I also doubt it was bleached pretty heavily last time, but you can't, you have to remove all the organic material before you do that to have it really be effective, and so there's no way for us to remove all the chunks. So, the ears are looking good. Everyone's ears are looking quite good. Kimsies, are you saying great news about no bath tomorrow? Unless unless I get results back before tomorrow morning that are positive, then then there will be baths. I'm sorry to say. But probably room room cleaning. Maybe. There's a lot of stuff in the room. Lots of tunnels and stuff, lots of stuff. Is this a kitten or is this a bunny? Is it a kitten or a jingle bunny? You have to look at the camera. Bunny? Yoda? Or kitten? Bunny. Yoda. There is no bomb uh, that will kill a ringworm, unfortunately. You need, uh, ringworm is very difficult to kill. You need something like bleach at ideally a 1 to 10 concentration, but um, in some cases 1 to 32 is okay. Uh, bleach or there's a few other things that um, are effective but you can't just spray bleach on and wipe it off you have to actually it has to have a contact time of 10 minutes minimum 10 minutes and that will kill most of the spores however if there is like there's like kibble and litter and stuff in that crack and so any of those things can be harboring spores and so um, there, you can't, even if you have a contact time of 10 minutes with appropriately concentrated cleaner, then, oh no, you can't guarantee anything. Oh no, how about a hover bunny? Upside down hover bunny? Do we do upside down hover bunny? Oh no. With tongue? Has anyone ever seen an upside down Hover bunny with a tongue like that, do you work? The white, uh, these are called bunny suits and they are, we have been washing them. Uh, but eventually they get holes in them and stuff. We can't wash them too many times, but um, they've been really awesome. Upside down hover bunny with the tongue. There. Oh, you both handsome. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Uh, so Jingle had interaction with humans. You can really tell the difference, but I think a lot of it is also personality. Great. Yeah, the um, the flooring guys were donating their time, so I didn't make them do any anything other than put the flooring down. They probably would have if I had asked, but I'm sort of debating whether it would be better to just those baseboards are pretty gross too to just put something else on there, but I think the floor is maybe not exactly level. So it could be it could be interesting. Oh is it my silk soupy? Oh for goodness snuggle now. Alright. So alright, well thanks for tuning in. Those are the updates. I think and then I'm gonna go and strap the casserole in. two snugglers tomorrow, so that's good. I think Kinsey's is Kinsey's and Suzanne maybe. Very exciting. Very exciting. Look at that little snoopy Nicholas bum. Alright, now I'm going to be up. Goodbye, Kinsey.